dear child. Today, step into my presence. Also, find someone trustworthy to confide in. Through this, your chains will be broken and your guilt and anguish will be relegated to the past. From this day forward, let nothing hinder the blessings in the future, filled with goodness and peace that I have prepared for you. Today, you have tangible proof of my love. Remember there is someone in your life who also needs to hear these words. Share them. I love you with all my heart. Thank you for listening. These words are designed to bring you peace. Read them slowly, letter by letter, and feel my presence alongside you. I am here to soothe your heart and quiet your soul. Relax, dear one. You're not alone. And with me by your side, you are beyond reach of harm. Calm yourself, close your eyes, and let the tears cease. Your breath need not be lost to crying. Your tears have told me of your needs, but my voice is here to heal and comfort you, to ease your anxiety. My presence dries your tears and wraps you in tranquility. It is not your time to leave. Stay a while longer. I want you to be fortified, and when you face the world again, you will no longer be gripped by fear. Walk confidently, whether through shadowed valleys or barren deserts, feeling ever surrounded and protected by my eternal love. Feel it. Embrace it. Believe it. My Holy Spirit is all around you, safeguarding you from danger. The trials and tribulations of the world are real, but you stand strong, trusting in my word, secure in your identity. You possess a steadfast and unbreakable belief that you will prevail. Today marks the end of many years of pain. I will lift bitterness, sadness, guilt, and remorse from your heart so thoroughly that you won't even recall them. You are immensely valuable to me. If only you could fully grasp this, your joy would be even greater. But I will instill this conviction in your heart, and no one will be able to shake your faith or steal your belief. I ask you to make a daily habit of counting your blessings. Be thankful for the air you breathe, for life, for your family, for friends, and for the provisions on your table. Open your eyes to see the abundance around you. Seek patiently and soon you will appreciate the greatness in what may currently seem small. Lift your hands to the sky again, grateful for the time and place you're in and for discovering new reasons to live and strive each day. I've granted you the power to choose happiness over sadness. Now. Let no one plant doubts or steal this joy from you. Your help comes from me, your eternal God. Support from heaven will cascade down like waterfalls of living water, rejuvenating your body, enlivening your mind, and saturating your soul with divine peace. Laughter will fill your mouth. New visions will open before you, and dreams will reveal what lies ahead. Learn daily from my word. Open your Bible, nourish your spirit with its truth. My Holy Spirit will lead you and reveal the true path. Disregard those who might try to dazzle you with seemingly profound revelations. Manipulate your life with false prophecies or control your will with threats. If you are uncertain, pray. My Holy Spirit will comfort you time and again. It will open your eyes and gently remind you that your Heavenly Father is watching over you, ensuring that no one can bring you harm. Speak it out loud. Declare with conviction, My Heavenly Father is with me. No enemy has power over me. Be vigilant about the words you utter. Refrain from speaking ill, spreading slander, or engaging in gossip. Treat those who serve and support you with loyalty and respect. 
Be truthful to those who provide you with opportunities and employment. And if you have faltered in these areas, come before me. I am here to forgive your missteps and purify your heart. However, make it a habit to seek me in prayer every morning. I am committed to liberating your soul from any feelings of guilt or remorse. My sacrifice on the cross and my resurrection were for your freedom from all forms of mental and spiritual anguish. Remember you are human, and in this world it is natural for your body, soul, and mind to experience weariness. Even my most devoted servants who led holy lives encountered fatigue and made errors. Yet, they humbly acknowledged their sins and returned to this altar of forgiveness. They rose again to face battles and achieve victories without retreating. If you find yourself exhausted, if you fail, you have failed, if you've spoken out of turn, harmed someone dear, or if you are struggling with harmful habits, come to me. If your heart truly seeks my aid and believes in my desire to assist you, approach me. I will touch your lips and cleanse your heart. You are forgiven. Do not dwell on past mistakes. I am here to rejuvenate your spirit and motivation. You will rise again like a champion. Leave behind any guilt and sorrow. Instead, focus on the joyful times, your past triumphs. Just as you had faith and overcame before, you will do so again. With this embrace of love, I charge you to confront life with faith and unwavering resolve. I am with you always. I love you, my champion. Exercise patience with all that is unfolding in your life. Remain calm, knowing that I am by your side, honoring your faith. Everything occurs for a reason. While it may be difficult to understand now, once this phase passes and you reach the blessings I have prepared, you will comprehend why it was essential to maintain belief, trust, patience, and endurance. You have already received many blessings due to your perseverance and many more await. I know your love for me is genuine rooted in who I am, not merely for what I provide. You regard me as your Father, your God, your Lord, your friend, your Creator. Continue to uphold these beliefs. Keep faith in my words and promises regardless of the challenges you face, and always prioritize me in your life. Be assured, I will never let you face defeat or disgrace. Choose your friends carefully and turn away from those who try to diminish your faith or discourage you. Remember, you will not be trapped in this challenging situation forever. At the perfect moment, I will come and set you free. I understand your discouragement, how these trials might shake your faith, but hold steadfast. Keep strong, for soon I will guide your steps towards the path that leads to my blessings. I know the wait is hard. It may feel prolonged, and there are many temptations to give up. But I implore you to continue to believe. The trials you face now are tests, strengthening you, and no one can take away the blessings that are on their way, the gifts that I have prepared for you. Do not lose heart, my child. Continue to wait patiently and trust in me. I am your God crafting a blessed and wonderful future for you. I will lead you out of these trials into a place of peace, joy, and honor. Can you hold on a little longer? Tell me you can. I love you deeply. I understand you completely. Nothing about your heart is hidden from me. You are always welcome to approach me with anything at any time. To share your struggles or just to talk because I am fully aware of your emotions and needs. Remember, you can never expect consistent love or understanding from this world, but with me, you find everything you need and more to satisfy your longing for peace, 
and to envelope your life with my love, filling your heart with the powerful emotion that comes from knowing you are deeply loved. My love for you is unwavering, even if you have doubted it during times of adversity. I have loved you before, I love you now, and I will continue to love you always. Stop placing your trust in those who betray you. Stop giving your love to those who do not cherish it. Do not prioritize those who have hurt you. They do not deserve that place in your heart. That primary place is reserved for me. Give it to me. Recognize and honor me. Show the reverence that is due to me. In your life, let me be your God, your Lord, your King, and no other. If you felt unsettled recently, it's because you've allowed someone else to take the place in your heart that is rightfully mine. This displacement has caused a void in your heart, a void that expands whenever you turn away from my love. This is the root of your sadness, the reason you find yourself crying at night. You seek love, but you've been looking in the wrong places. There is no one in this world who can love you as I do. Why wait any longer to seek peace, love, and rest? Why continue to give your life and love to those who cause you such great suffering, only to return to me in tears when hurt again? Know this, I will always welcome you back, for my love transcends your mistakes and poor choices. But you need not endure further pain to draw close to me. You can come to me now. I am ready to embrace you with love and reveal the depth of my care for you. Come today. I am waiting. Do not lose hope. I am here to assist you even before you voice your needs. My ears are attuned to you, already listening for your call. Consider how deeply I love you and my desire to lift you from the challenges you face. Come to me today, confident in the knowledge that I am here to support and elevate you. I will heal your wounds, help you leave your past behind, and restore the blessings once lost. I want you to understand how much I love and admire you. Your courage in the face of conflict fills me with joy. I encourage you to continue in your faith and trust in me, your steadfast and mighty God. Stay away from those who mock you and attempt to steal your joy. They are not true friends. They have abandoned faith and envy your blessed path. They will never rejoice in your success, so do not waste your time trying to convince them or seek their approval. I will clear your path of those who wish you harm and surround you with people who genuinely care for you. Cast aside desperation and refuse to entertain worry. Guard against thoughts that disrupt your peace. Shield your spirit from negativity. Equip yourself with the helmet of faith, the breastplate of righteousness, and the sword of my word. Prepare for a battle that you are destined to win. You will not face defeat again. Should you falter, I promise to raise you back up. Embrace this challenge. Reject the shackles of anxiety and ready yourself to fight against discouragement and fear. Declare your belief in me and your readiness to succeed. I will bless your home, heal your body, soul, emotions, and familial relationships. You will witness my supernatural power firsthand. Hear my words clearly. I love you deeply and desire for you to accept this truth with all the simplicity and sincerity in your heart. Each morning, come and nourish your soul with my word. Let it ignite your faith, burning away all the fears that hinder your progress. Do not be held back by false giants, those fabrications that frighten you with untruths. You cannot step into your promised victory if you do not dare to trust me fully with your talents, your struggles, and your failures. In this crucial stage of your life, you cannot afford to waste time doubting the blessings I have prepared for you. Remember, on the cross, 
your enemies were defeated, and I bore the punishment for all your sins. Your debt has been paid. You owe nothing further. You are seated with me in the heavenly realms, already anointed with the oil and honey of my blessings. I am your father, and I have granted you your portion of the heavenly inheritance. When you look in the mirror, see not a weak and insignificant creature destined for failure, overwhelmed by emotions that rob you of your right to succeed. I speak to you now of a genuine and lasting triumph, freedom from debt, restored finances, forgiveness, harmony at home, wisdom in your soul, and a supernatural peace that lets you walk your path independent of others' negative opinions. I urge you not to be enslaved by the views of those who envy you and wish to strip away the gifts I am ready to bestow upon you. Believe in me, depend on my word, embrace my promises, and distance yourself from harmful influences. Victory lies with me. Triumph is found in my presence. Each morning, I am here waiting to fill you with strength, joy, and peace. I am ready to whisper tender words of love and affection into your ear, words that will empower and delight you. I am blessing your life and your home. Do you believe it? Will you accept it? Your love for me will grow with each passing day. Remember, I'm your shepherd. You shall not want. I am your provider. All that you lack will soon be fulfilled. I am your healer. I envelop you in my love and bring you healing. I am your protector. Under the shadow of my peace, you are safe. My word is trustworthy. My promises are sure. Everything I have promised, all the beautiful things I have spoken of, will come to pass because I am God and I do not lie. I will do as I have said. I will guide you along the path I have chosen for you. In every circumstance, through every challenge, I am with you. No matter how daunting the obstacle, even when a miracle seems impossible, trust in me with all your heart. Commit your daily plans to me. Place me first in your endeavors, and I will never leave your side. I have demonstrated my love even on your darkest days when you felt your sins might have separated us. Remember, my love is unchanging and eternal. You have endured abandonment, criticism, hurt, and disparagement from those around you. Voices that declared failure over you, that tried to curse you and steal your blessings. You felt on the brink of defeat, perhaps even close to death. Yet, as I have done before, I will always lift you from the depths of despair with understanding, grace, love, forgiveness, and tenderness. Do not waver, do not lose heart. Affirm with your lips that you will trust in me, no matter what challenges arise. You will find victory in all your endeavors, for my love for you is steadfast. If I did not forsake you in your darkest moments, I surely will not abandon you now. I have been with you in sorrow and in joy, in times of trouble and times of peace. I have never rejected you or forgotten you. Stand firm in your faith. When you feel it falter, boldly proclaim the promises I have given you. Let those who oppose you know that I am with you every day until the end. Depend on my grace. Cast aside any doubts about whether you deserve my blessings. If you choose to believe in me, wholeheartedly accept the blessings I bestow upon you. These blessings, once in your hands, will multiply, bringing forth great gifts and rewards. You will have all you need to bless your family and assist those in need. You will have an abundance of sustenance, health, strength, and peace but you must act in faith to claim these blessings. Do not hesitate or retreat into the shadows. I'm calling you because I wish to answer your prayers and remove every curse and affliction from you and your family. I am not seeking you to take anything away, but rather to replace it with something far greater. 
You are at a pivotal and decisive moment in your life. You have grown and are no longer the person you were yesterday. You are prepared. You will make decisions with certainty. Do not seek advice from those who only harbor negative thoughts or try to please those who do not wish for your success. When you share your plans with them, they may attempt to dissuade you and drag you back to a place of defeat. But this will not happen because I am with you. You will proceed without hesitation. And when the doors open, your faith will carry you through and I will be there beside you. All the challenges that once caused you to stumble will be addressed. I will place wonderful blessings in your hands and I urge you to steward them wisely so they may grow and lay the foundation for even greater blessings. Remember, I am with you always, guiding, protecting, and loving you through every step. You and your family are on the cusp of significant progress, advancing toward a brighter future and a better land. Encourage your children to value education and to dream big. They have the potential to serve me in myriad ways, using their talents and intellect to transform families and even nations. The leaders and heroes of tomorrow are being nurtured within your home. As my second coming approaches, they will become powerful instruments of my word, significantly impacting the world. This will only be possible if you honor me in your home and your children witness it. Let your behavior and your daily life testify to your faith. Dismiss the notion that you cannot change because of a bad character you were born with. With me, all things are possible. I can soften the hardest hearts. Those who once spoke in anger will now express joy and laughter. Those who offended with their words will soon speak only kindness as sweet as honey. Through such transformations, your family will see the reality of my power. Even as the world challenges their faith, even if they face skepticism about my existence or doubts about my ability to aid them, trust that my glory will manifest in your home. Your neighbors will witness a divine glow by night, and angels will illuminate every corner of your house, surprising many with the supernatural and miraculous occurrences within your walls. Many will come to you, and through your prayers, I will heal the sick, resolve issues, and mend broken spirits. A tremendous spiritual revival is beginning within your family. You are living in the last days, and while many speak of my return and seek to uncover the mysteries of that time, they do not genuinely seek me. My love and revelations are reserved for those who believe in me wholeheartedly, who fearlessly devote their souls carry my word and are willing to sacrifice their lives for this message and the love of others. This is the powerful message I am implanting in you today. Remember where and when you heard it. Stand up and gaze toward the horizon. I will use your life to spread my glory across distant lands, in foreign territories where languages unfamiliar to you are spoken. I will guide you and my Holy Spirit will manifest through your family and you. A spiritual revolution is underway. From the moment you began this journey, I have been guiding you, ensuring you fear nothing as you traverse shadowy valleys, despite the conflicts you witness and experience today. Embrace my written word wholeheartedly for this year is set to bring you immense blessings, prosperity, recognition, and respect. But these blessings require your active participation. Pray diligently, persist in your battles, and never waver in your faith in the one who sacrificed his life so that you could triumph. Even if you feel unworthy or doubt your deservingness, hold fast to me. Cast aside any thoughts of condemnation, and welcome my grace and forgiveness into your life. You are chosen to be a beacon of blessing for your family. 
Banish any notions of defeat from your mind, for I am with you in all things, ready to assist you. Seek strength from me daily. Dispel discouraging thoughts and boldly believe in my promises. Nourish yourself with my word and be empowered. Live your life imbued with divine strength, adorned with humility and patience, and you will witness blessings beyond your wildest dreams. Believe simply and earnestly. Adorn your victories with humility and wisdom. Remember your triumphs, your zest, your drive, your vigor were bought at a great price. Through suffering, lashes, death, and the shedding of blood on the cross, where your future and forgiveness were sealed. Now, step into the majestic glory born of my resurrection. I have vowed to be with you through both joyous and challenging times, always to watch over you as your father, your provider, your refuge. You are never alone. Do not succumb to feelings of abandonment or despair when setbacks occur. Reject negative emotions that threaten to rob you of your blessings. I am true to my word, and I will not fail you. You will not be defeated. Fill your mind with my promises. Know that I hold you close. Reserve the most sacred place in your heart for me. Trust and find rest in my embrace, for I am in control of your life. Fear not. For I am safeguarding you, caring for you at all times. I am with you each morning as you awaken. Feel my presence as you open your eyes. Do not be distracted by the world in those first crucial moments of your day. Come and listen to my word. Hear how my spirit speaks directly to you, assuring you that I have everything under control. You must trust in me. Face adversity with confidence, knowing that with me by your side, nothing and no one can cause you harm. Let each day begin with a clear focus on my presence, prioritizing our sacred communion above all else. As the dawn breaks and you open your eyes to a new day, let your first thoughts be of gratitude and seeking my guidance. In these quiet moments, Allow my spirit to fill you with peace and reassurance. I am the architect of your days, meticulously planning each moment for your ultimate good. In the solitude of the morning, when the world has not yet intruded with its demands and distractions, find strength in my promises. Immerse yourself in my word, which is alive and active, tailored to meet you in your current circumstances. It is here, in the stillness before the day begins, that you can best hear my voice. Let it be the foundation on which your daily decisions and interactions are built. As you do this, you cultivate a life that is not reactive to the chaos of the world, but proactive in pursuing a divine purpose. Carry this focus throughout your day. When challenges arise, as they surely will, recall the promises we discussed in the quiet of the morning. Use them as your shield against fear and doubt. Remember, I am not a distant observer, but an active participant in your life. I walk beside you offering protection, wisdom, and strength. Embrace this truth and let it embolden you to face each obstacle with courage and assurance. Knowing that I'm with you will transform the way you navigate your day, turning what could be a time of stress into a testimony of faith. Many of the worries that weigh on you today will be resolved sooner than you anticipate. At just the right moment, the answers you seek will come. As you pray, know that I am actively charting your path and writing your story. There is nothing that escapes my wisdom and will. The blessings you have fervently prayed for, I am opening those doors for you. I am bolstering your faith and standing by to elevate you to a new beginning where everything will be transformed. Let go of your concerns about others' opinions. 
hold your head high and live your life with faith and dignity. There will always be those who speak ill out of envy. But remember, only my view of you truly matters. I see you as wonderful with a heart that is clean and sincere. Store my words in your mind, and when you face attacks from others, seek refuge in my love. I have been with you through every battle, aware of every fall, every defeat, and every victory. But now it's time for you to triumph and elevate your life to greater heights. Leave behind the old struggles and step into a new phase of victory and renewal. This is the moment when I transform your life and begin a new chapter with you. Let me lead you on a fresh path filled with blessings and wisdom. I offer you my love and peace to calm your soul and mind. Do you accept this? Amen. <laughs>